Team building. It's an idea that makes some people cringe and it's provided comedy writers from the office to the thick of it with some of their funniest material. But does it have a serious business benefit to, well, Kato Syverson and is the chief executive of CreditSafe and Heather Cooper is from the HR consultancy HCHR. Um, first of all, uh, Kato, you have, a, I think, a fairly unique approach to, uh, to team building. Give us an idea of some of the things you've been involved in. Well, um... A few years back, we took all our stuff to Mallorca. We did Credit Safe Got Talent there with various rock bands. Um, we done football tournaments, jumping out of parachutes. And the last one on Friday was a um, boxing event for charity. And uh, so how did, the, how did the boxing go down? Did there any, any black eyes? Yeah, I, I got one myself. Uh, <laughs> there's a good few of us, including the HR director. <laughs> and so what do you think it does to your business? What, what, what benefits does it bring? I think it's very important to to do something different and stand out. You know, um, I started my career working in a bank myself uh, for six years, and you know, I was bored. Uh, and you know, to work in a place that generally has the guts to do something different is, uh, you know, giving people a, a passion. Heather, can I ask you what, what, what's your thinking on on team building and some of the ideas that, that Cato has been talking about? Well, I think he's putting the theory into practice, and the theory is about building relationships. The problem with uh, team building as a uh, as a concept is that, as you say, it does uh, invoke uh, cringe cringeworthiness in BIM people. <laughs> they, they, um, and um, but it's all about building relationships in organisations, and relationships are about people working together. And as, uh, we're, all, we're all individuals, and we crave the interactions with people, and. There's not enough effort put into businesses, actually, that relationship. Plenty of effort put into the into the work side. But what Cato's doing there is getting people to, to bond um, because they're, they're interacting. Is there an economic side to this, Heather? Because obviously we know that many businesses have gone through a really uh, tough time over the last few years. There's perhaps not been as much money around as there has been uh, maybe for pay rises and so on. So, so is sort of building this community and offering something different as a workplace important in that sense? Absolutely, because businesses only succeed because of, their, of the teams and the people within the teams. Uh, and so you're looking for effective teams and effective relationships. And that's... That, in order to get that, you need to have trust and mutual respect and um, w welcoming diversity, which is uh, getting getting people to not just accept um, different points of view, but to welcome it to so that they can be more creative. So, h how how do you do that on a day to day basis? Well. Uh, if you take people out of their day-to-day -day environment and give them some uh, a challenging, something challenging and different that they can buy into, they start to, to build their own relationships, which has a knock-on effect of um, effect helping the organisation to, to improve and, and succeed. Kato, can I ask you, how important is it when you're coming up with these sort of ideas for team building that you come up with things that everyone's going to be able to get involved <laughs> in? Because I'm, I imagine it must be difficult to be able to do that. Well, you've got, you got to chop and change. You know, you've got to create different kind of heroes I mean from my point of view we don't do team building we just work hard play hard mm -hmm. and you know generally go for it so next year we've got a music festival coming up that we battle off the bands so we've got at least 15 people in our company working uh, uh, that's in a band so, so you, that's the next one. So you do chop and change and, and just go for it. I mean, this boxing thing was fantastic with the journey of three months 30 people working out losing more than 35 stones one tooth and probably a pint of blood, but it's just fantastic, you know. Um, he Heather, I, I, I remember being part of a group that kept um, going to the, the races uh, every, every winter and eventually we kind of discovered it kind of got a bit blokey mm. after a few years. Is that, is that a danger? Yes, I think so. I think you, it, it, you need to tailor it to your culture. Cato's, uh, uh, in his press release these days, he said that his culture is competitive and inclusive. And so all those events... Uh, tie into tie into that. Um, you can do other things that that relate to other cultures. Sort of, there's an organisation that I know down down to earth, and they do um, they get all, they get teams of people co cooking a me lighting the fire, cooking the meal. Um, uh, climbing a tree and give them options that they can they can choose to do now that might not suit 
um, credit save. I haven't said probably would actually, but um, <laughs> um, and it's it's horses it's horses for courses, isn't it? I, I think it's very important that when you're doing these activities, you know why you're doing them. Cato has a clear um, understanding of why he's doing it for for his business, and so when you when you go to uh, well, as an HR person, when you go to get the funding for these sort of things, you need to have a clear business case as to why you're going to do it. How is it going to impact on that on that business and to measure the results? So I'm guessing that that Cato probably does some some form of um, uh, staff surveys to find out how how sure. these events are working. Well, we've been top 100 to work for yeah. for three years in a row, and and definitely, you know, the Mallorca trip took us straight up to number 23. Yeah. Um, it's important to get that that, that kind of staff involvement oh, yeah. and find out what people really want yeah. out of it. People generally care more, you know. It was, they, it was a reward, and it was for, it, it matched your, your your values. It was inclusive. It was for everybody. It was fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. Very interesting chat, and uh, I'm going to make some of these suggestions to my bosses once we uh, once we get through there. Okay.